Hello, this is uh, Tom Zeppenfeld from Graphilion with um, a screencast on real-time fraud detection using Neo4j and our uh, Interactor platform. Um, I've logged on. I have a shortcut here that uh, opens the a panel where I have a number of buttons that trigger different uh, actions um, and here I have some panels that will display information about possible fraud rings and members and victims. Uh, for now I have uh, 400 uh, identities in here um, which is, are basically uh, names with a social security number, a phone and uh, an address uh, and there are currently there are no uh, no accounts so there are no fraud rings um, what I'm first going to do I'm going to create 100 account for uh, random uh, identities so all the, ent the entities that are currently there <coughs> so now each um, uh, each of those randomly selected accounts has uh, uh, each of these randomly selected identities has an account uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create 64 fake identities based on randomly chosen phone numbers, social security numbers and four addresses from the valid identities that I had so after that I will have in total I will have 464 identities of which 64 are fake So here I have that and you can see the, the yellow ones are the um, phone numbers, the pink ones are the social security numbers and the green ones are um, addresses. So these are shared among those uh, 64 uh, newly created uh, identities. So when I'm going to create more accounts, so everyone, uh, every time I, I will select a single one, um, uh, it will happen that those are there are accounts that are created by let's say non-fake identities but also about fake identities and when um, when these fake identities are going to create accounts you will see that uh, there will be accounts of which the identities are sharing numbers and they will appear automatically in uh, in the panel and it will also as a network but also possible um, um, fraud ring members and fraud ring victims will appear. I'm saying possible because especially when you have uh, small numbers of accounts uh, you don't have enough information to be sure that it's a fraud ring but it's anyway it's uh, you can it raises a suspicion. So when I'm gonna create an account okay for instance this I have an account holder and uh, this is the account holder of this account so every time I'm going to create a new one, a random one and you will see at a certain stage possible okay here now this account has been uh, created and apparently uh, this person with uh, this Vladimir they are sharing phone numbers so victims are uh, identified as identities that share only a single uh, thing, so a single uh, uh, identifier or the phone or the, the social security number or the address with another account holder. But apparently nothing serious is, is happening yet. I'm going to continue creating. Okay, now there is something else going on. Okay, uh, this uh, Elizabeth, she is sharing a phone number and a social security number with this uh, Takisha and uh, this uh, Takisha is also sharing uh, with the possible victim um, an address with the uh, Sierra and perhaps you notice that Lisa Burgett, Elizabeth Burgett was first in the victim but now since she's sharing a lot of stuff probably that's um, uh, that's a member of the fraud ring so every time I create new accounts
Okay, now you see the fraud ring is uh, is growing. So you have more accounts, and you can see that there are people that are sharing uh, sharing social security numbers with one person, and they are sharing social security numbers or addresses with one person, and social security numbers with uh, with another person. So if I would just now start creating 100 additional accounts and I would uh, uh, request the fraud ranks to be updated, you have a lot of people that are possibly involved in this in this fraud. And here you can see uh, the name of the person and the, all the, the persons that uh, they are sharing things with. And on this end you have all the possible victims. Um, so that was my short demonstration of uh, what you can do in terms of real or well, near real time fraud detection. That means that the graph really really allows you to um, uh, to to in every time there is a new account that is created, do the analysis and detect very uh, very quickly and visualize uh, quickly uh, where the possible fraud rings are. Thank you very much.